Now when the sun come up, I'll be there to say what up in the morning Brush my teeth, find that clip I've been looking for since last night I feel so caught up in the bud, I flow some out with my Hey guys, it's Ashley and for today's video I'm doing what you keep in your yoga bag or like at least what I keep in my yoga bag. So if you are new to the yoga culture and you want to go to a class and you're just like, oh, I don't know what to bring, yo girl, that's moi, got you. I'll show you what I keep in my yoga bag. If you got any questions, you know, you need to drop those in the comments area, sister girl will get to you. Because I respond quickly to my comments and I love the love that I get from you guys so let's get into this video dive in the first thing you need to decide is what kind of yoga bag do you want do you want a backpack kind of bag or do you want like a Percy looking one so I'm gonna go over so this backpack I love it both these bags are Lululemon this bag is huge enough to hold all the junk I'm about to show you and it fits the yoga mat so like there's like a top flap you open that up and your mat just sticks in there like that I recommend getting their bags they're kind of pricey but you need to start out with a nice bag this is a purse bag and like I love their bags because they have like a bunch of compartments like this back pouch is like for your phone and there's plenty of space in the inside so both of these bags do fit all the stuff I'm about to show you. I'm gonna go down the line of all of my stuff I usually keep in my bag so first things first the obvious bring some aqua bring a bottle of water because sometimes when I go to new studios I don't know where the bubbler is and I want to be like excuse me I know we meditate but where's the bubbler you know bring your own water because then you know it's clean like when I'm teaching I like to bring a yoga block the purpose of a yoga block is to help you um, if you can't quite reach the ground it brings the ground to you if you're trying to do some hot yoga bring like a towel now this is like a sweat wicking towel bring it you place it on top of your mat if you're sweating a lot and you're losing your grip and it's like it's like a microfiber like texture it's really nice and soft this soothing citrus it's a mat cleaner so you, all you have to do is spray it on your mat and it makes it smell like citrus cute and disinfect I bring a strap and the strap, you know, you can put it around your foot and you and your arm or you can hold it and it helps you get deeper in your stretches. And there's like an adjustable little buckly thing on there. This one was, I can't remember, it starts with a G. Gaima, I think it's pronounced. That's this brand at my house or outside. I bring these cute little gloves. Look at these little Nike gloves. I think, and also I use them for weightlifting. So these cute little pink gloves my daddy got me. And if I'm outside, I don't want to like mess up my hands if I'm trying to do like a handstand or like some kind of inversion. So I'll bring and bring these. I'll bring some of my business cards. It usually has just my social medias on it. So I hand out business cards every once in a while. So yeah, if you come to one of my classes, you can ask for a card. They're free, you know, hand them out. Bring a spray, spritz yourself if you ain't got time for a shower or something. And also bring some the overrint. And after class, and to class, if it gets sunny out, yo girl gotta bring out some shade so you can help. Fashion Nisa. I usually bring my little yoga book and I forgot to put that in here. And I'll write in my book different kinds of uh, flows, asanas, which are um, poses to try out with my students. Then it's getting to like the purse essentials. So instead of carrying a purse and a yoga bag, I just throw, I transfer everything. You should check out my what's in my purse video because it's like a lot of the same things that I still bring with me. So I bring lotion because yeah, your feet can get ashy and you don't want to have ashy feet on the mat because I don't wear socks or shoes when I do yoga. I love, you know, being barefoot. That's like the best way to do yoga. So bring some lotion, a travel size lotion. This one is Burt's Bees Body Lotion with milk and honey. No keys. Yo wallet. And I bring a charger. Carry a mirror. Sometimes I wear makeup to class and then I don't want it to get all smudgy. I don't wear too much because you know you're going to sweat and that's really bad for your skin. You get pimples. I mean, nobody wants pimples. So I'm bring some Tic Tacs. Lip gloss. Your phone, because you don't want to forget your phone. I bring my laptop. 
if I am doing a YouTube idea or whatnot. I don't know if I want to look online. Sometimes I use it if I don't want to play music off my phone. It's a little bit louder with the computer. Thank you guys so much for watching my, you know, what do I keep in my yoga bag video. And I hope it helped you decide what kind of bag to get, what kind of stuff to bring so you're not underpacked or overpacked and you have like just the right stuff for you. So this is the stuff I bring if you want to maximize or minimize um, what I showed you. You can do as you please. I hope you guys liked it. Please like and subscribe. Um, don't forget to check out my playlist because I do update my playlist every Tuesday when I post a video and I might post videos on Thursday. So I don't know. I will give you guys some kind of heads up in my social medias. So my social medias are also in my description box. Don't forget to check out that. And I will see you guys in my next video. It is deuce time. Bye!